Next, Wilmington Mayor Mike Brzezicki talks about the murder rate, cuts to the fire department, and why he'd prefer one school district. This is The Delaware Way. Welcome to The Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti, and we welcome back Mayor Mike Brzezicki of Wilmington. So you've been in the job now for what, six months? Five. Five months. How's it going Years. so far? Are you, are, you, are you glad you ran? Yeah, I am. It's, uh, it's, I tell people it's harder than I thought it would be, but far more rewarding, too. So it's uh, no regrets at all. I'm looking forward to finishing out this four years and more, I think. Uh, well, we have a couple news items to ask you about. I'll do that off the top, then we'll get into some more philosophical <coughs> stuff. Right on sure. the front page of the News Journal today, did City Rush arrest in Boys shooting? And this is, um, uh, this is the shooting of Jashon Banner mm -hmm. on June 6, when the new police commissioner came out the next day and guaranteed a fast arrest. There was a fast arrest. Turns out it was the wrong guy. What went wrong? Uh, personally, I don't think anything went wrong. I think they believed, I mean, they had a, 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 had a positive ID. They really believed, given all the circumstances they had, that this was the guy. But quickly they, they found out it wasn't the guy. Couldn't they have waited a couple days? I, mean, I guess well, the question no, is, was no, the no, rushing no. because of the guarantee? No, I'm not part of that process in any way, but there's nothing that I've seen that would suggest that. I think they really believe that they had an ID, a good ID from somebody who, who was an eyewitness and, uh, and they were mistaken, that's all. They, I think they, they changed uh, course immediately, so I don't think as if they were trying to resist it as, as it happens at, at times, I think... Uh, uh, they just they went on the best information they had, and it was a serious enough matter that you wouldn't want to dawdle with it. I don't think you know. Well, no, it's other cases, other similar cases, have gone unsolved, and and that's why I think there was the, there there felt like the rush on this one. And again, excuse for the word rush. We're in the middle now of of a crisis, and it's a crisis that fairly or unfairly has accelerated since you've been mayor. We have 101 shootings. We have. Uh, the 20 murders, and we're we're looking like we're going to crush the record that they've had <clears throat> right. in the past. That and and so this has this has got to be frustrating for you. What is the root cause of this? Do you know? Yeah. So let me just back up. So yes, uh, crime has increased since I'm mayor. I had four three murders the first four days I was mayor. I mean, it was a uh, it stunned me, and I think it stunned everybody. The accelerated pace at which we were seeing crime take place. Now, I don't think any reasonable person says, you know, that a week after I was elected that this had some, there was some correlation. It's just, it has nothing to, to do with fair, anything. To be fair, it's been more than one week, though. No, but what I'm saying is that that was the ramp up, and that, that ramp up has, occur has stayed the same. Now, it took us, not that I think this would have mattered appreciably, but it took us, you know, a couple of months to get a new public safety administration in place, got hired a new chief. And of course, he's been there for about five or six weeks now. I don't think there's anything that we are doing that anybody reasonably would say is contributing toward increased violence. If anything, I think our deployments are more effective. I think we've improved morale in the, in the department. I think we're doing all of the right things, and I'm confident that I have a very effective leader in place over there. It just takes time. I mean, there's something clearly that's happening in our city that we all ought to be concerned with, but I don't think it has anything to do with our deployment, our public safety practices, I think it has much more to do with underlying dysfunction in our communities. We have two thirds of men, virtually two thirds of men who've been in prison. We've got, uh, uh, in 19801, we've got a 35% particip labor participation rate. We've got, in our schools, we've got abysmal performance by some of our uh, impoverished areas and by the kids in our impoverished areas. I mean, these are all indicators of, of broad social dissolution that we've got to deal with. I understand that they're all intertwined, and, and I do understand that there has to be a long-term solution, and everyone I talk to talks about a long-term solution. We had your new police commissioner and police chief in. We do have a short-term problem, and frankly, the only way to deal with the short-term problem is through, through greater, greater public safety measures, and we understand that. But all you're doing at that point, to the extent that you can, is tamping down the symptoms of the problem. Is that, is that important right now, though? It is important. No, it, it really is. And I've got, you know, it's funny. I hired a police chief the way you hire a football coach. You wouldn't hire a football coach and tell him, you're my coach, but you've got to hire my brother-in-law as a defensive coordinator. You know, I mean, it's going to be your staff, your, your draft picks. You're going to make this thing work, and you're going to live and die by your successes or failures. And that's what I've got to do here. I can't be, I can't be telling the chief what to do. 
I hired him, I believe in him, and he continues to put strategies in place that I think they're gonna work, and I think, uh, and he's convinced me, may or be patient, and so I'm willing to give him all the time he needs. Um, patience, I, 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 it, it, is a, it is a difficult word to swallow with what's going on right now, patience. Yeah, but you know, it's funny, I get it. Nobody gets it more than I do. I, I will show you my text to my staff where I say, we have to do something on a night when you get announced that three people got shot in one evening. But when you, when you look at the violence, it is random, it is unrelated, it is, not, it is not big gang violence where you can go in and break up gangs, it is not necessarily, um, it is not necessarily drug organization related where you can go break up a, some sort of a cartel. I mean, these tend, to be, uh, these tend to be random, they tend to be personal. You know, we've got, we've got communities that are, that are borderline broken with people that have nothing in their lives except these petty disputes that they've got to resolve with violence. If we can get people working, if we can start building communities and strengthening some of these individuals so they can cope with life better, I think we're gonna be better off. But that doesn't happen quickly. And I think anybody who believes there's a quick solution is just dreaming. I would imagine that in given the current situation, this has to be your number one priority? It is my number one priority. But, it's, but I have to tell you, what I, what I have to resist is the, is the temptation uh, to react to every single act of violence and every bit of political pressure and everybody's advice that I get routinely every single day from from office holders, from people of influence. Everybody's got everybody's got advice. I get and that. You can run, you can run from corner to corner trying to follow everybody else. But it is strategy. fair to judge your success or failure. Absolutely, on this. absolutely. I mean, I'm uh, I own this. This is my problem. I don't. I, this is nobody else's. I fully accept responsibility for it, and we're going to deal with it. How about the curfew? Do you, do you believe in that? I don't think so at this point, simply because somebody would have to demonstrate to me that it, it is young people committing crimes after hours. Right now, we've got 40-year-olds committing crimes at 3 in the afternoon. And, and would you be concerned that you have a new police chief coming in with his own ideas that have been successful in other cities, and he has to now send resources and worry about this uh, enforcing a curfew that yeah, wasn't if, part of it when he got <clears throat> hired? Absolutely. Well, not, not, not just that. If he, if he said to me, Mayor, this is a good idea, then I'm all in. But if he tells me I can't afford to have my police officers running around taking care of kids, all I don't want is the diversion of resources to tr try to solve a semi-non problem while we have real problems out there. And we want to talk about the other real problems that are out there when the Delaware Way continues and our conversation with Mayor Mike Prezicki right after this.